Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the top 5 most practical pieces from Chanel. Recently, I did a video talking about the top 10 most practical pieces from Louis Vuitton within 10,000 budget. So today's video, we are going to talk about Chanel. Because Chanel has a very high price point, we cannot pick as much as Louis Vuitton pieces. So in today's video, I will choose 3 handbags two SLGs. Even though Chanel is very expensive, however, you have to think this way. Chanel pieces are really for the investment. Even I know handbag is the worst investment, however, Chanel pieces are still holding the value. So that's the reason I think worth to adding a couple pieces in your collection. So today we will pick up three handbags, two SLG. Only one item that I highly recommend it, get it from the pre-level market. All other four pieces I highly recommend it get it from the retail price. So when I doing this video, I check the pre-level market. I feel very frustrated and very upset. You know, you know right now the pre-level market, those Chanel pieces, the price is higher than retail price. I don't understand people buying items from pre-level market. One is really want to have a good price point. The second and some item is already discontinued. That's no choice. You can get a booty. So people go to the pre-love market. But if the item that the in the booty sell cheaper than the pre-love market, why people going to pre-love market? This is the thing I don't understand. So now the pre-level market, the price is even higher than the retail market. So that's the reason I choose the four just direct purchase from the boutique instead of pre-level market. So the first one is the Chanel Coco handle in the mini size. It is not extra mini and the, right now they call this one as a small. Currently this price is $4,000 and I believe they increase a couple of times already. I do have a couple of videos about this piece. I will link them into my description box. So you guys can check out the capacities so you can take a look. This is the one is not in the classic line. However, I think this is the classic piece. I'm kind of like doubt that they may be this one well including into the class line in the future because this one is so popular and the price tag also very reasonable for this one. The one I have is in the caviar leather with a gold hardware, back has a pocket, bottom has a feet. It comes with a removable strap, however this strap is a pretty short. Interior is a fabric lining, back there has a zipper pocket, and the middle has a slipper pocket, and the front has the bigger pocket. This pocket you can fit the Louis Vuitton mini pressure. So this is the first piece I highly recommend it to get it into your collection. Moving on the next, I also recommend it to get it from the booty that is the Chanel classic flap in the medium and the large size. I check the pre-love market and if the bag in the good condition, their price is very, very close to the retail prices. I rather recommend you to go to the boutique, get the, this one. Chanel bag most likely you don't use as an everyday bag, you use a more like an occasional bag. So you don't need to have a big size. That's why I doesn't recommend it go to the jumbo. Jumbo is more expensive and heavy. I feel the medium size is good enough for occasional bag. If you want to the big size, the next one I will recommend it. So this is the one I have. It's a caviar leather with a gold hardware and the back there has the pocket. Interior is the burgundy line full leather and it is a double flap. And here you also have a one pocket. Here has a big pocket. The front also have another pocket. So the strap is a little bit shorter, so you basically can wear as a shoulder bag. I think the crossbody is a little bit shorter. But I think a Chanel bag is so classic and elegant. I don't feel like to use it as a crossbody. Definitely, shoulder bag will be more classic and elegant look. So I think this is the one you can go for it. And the Currently, this price is $6,800, which is a very, very expensive. But as I said, Chanel bag is an investment. You put the money in the bank or you buy the bag 
for yourself, you know, and make you happy. And also, if one day you don't want it, you still don't lose a lot of money, and you also can pass to your children. So this is the one I highly recommend. This is the second piece. So moving on, the next one that I highly recommend to get from pre-love market that is the Chanel reissue in the size 227. So we already have the mini size, medium size, now this is the large size. The reason I choose this one from pre-love market even though Chanel reissue doesn't have a good resale value, but however, compared with the Chanel reissue 225, 226, 224, the 227 is the cheapest one. The one I have, I purchased from the fashion file and in the pristine condition. I got the whole set, including the authentic car, box, dust bag, everything, and it costs $3,680. So this bag, you can find many other places, Yugi Closet, Rebag, uh, Fashion File. You try to limit the price around $4,000. You can get a very good condition and make sure you also get the authentic car with that. In case one day you don't want it, you can easily to sell. So this is the 227, which is the largest one. The size wise is uh, very similar to the classic uh, flap in the jumbo size. However, this one is uh, much lighter and uh, much comfortable to use. I use this bag as a work bag because it, it can fit so much and uh, it comes like this. It's uh, very similar to the classic. It has the pocket right there, also have the love letter pocket, double flop, and the interior is also full leather line. Front also have another pocket. Because this is a calf skin leather, that's why it's a much, much softer than the caviar leather. So this one you can fit a lot. You can fit your all the essentials to this bag without any problem. So back there also has the pocket. It comes with the full metal strap and this strap is very comfortable. The only con for the reissue bag is the lock. This lock is not easy to find it too close. So you will experience, you know, it's kind of annoying, but the, once you get used to it, maybe you don't have a problem. So this is the one that I recommend it. And then this price, I put it for $1,000. So those are the three handbags I recommend it from Chanel. And then now we are moving to the SLG. I only picked two pieces of the SLG. I think we should save the money from SLG to the handbag. Chanel bag is a very small, you don't really need to purchase a wallet, a big SLG. I don't think it's necessary, kind of waste the money. So you only want to get the very practical items. The first one I recommend is this piece. This is a Chanel car case. It's a flat car case. So I do have a video to compare all Chanel SLG like a car case. There's so many car cases from Chanel. I will link a video below. You can take a look. It is a caviar leather with a gold hardware. Back has a pocket. This pocket you can put a couple credit cards. This is the big loom. You can put your dollar bill, your cash, credit cards, you know, and the front also has a pocket. So it's a very versatile piece. Because Chanel bag tend to be very small, we don't use it every single day. So this kind of SLG just perfect size for the small bag. Currently this price is $550. So I think it's still very pricey, but we just need a, a few pieces of the SLG. Chanel SLG has a very good uh, resale value, like this kind of piece. You will easily to sell to the pre-level market and then you're probably not going to lose a lot. Maybe you just lose some tax amount. I think this is worth to purchase. So the next piece that I highly recommend is uh, this one. This is the the Chanel O case. This is the one of my favorite SLG from Chanel. I feel this one is a so so versatile. It is very flat. You can use it as a wallet, as a car holder, as a cosmetic pouch, whatever you name it. I use this mainly for the wallet because I don't buy Chanel wallet. I put it credit cards, cash, keys in this wallet and dump in the Chanel mini bag and just go. 
it is so versatile this one currently priced is $650 and the interior is a fabric it can fit a lot of dollar bill or credit card without any problem I don't use this for the cosmetic pouch uh, I just don't feel like to use it I feel this is a do as well as a perfect so this is the piece I highly highly recommend it so total of those five pieces is uh, $16,000 so I think it's not too bad you have to consider this is an investment wonder if you don't need it easily to sell because we choose the classic piece so bonus item that I I think I needed to talk about it is another car holder. This is another piece of the SLG, but I don't think it's necessary. This one current price is 450. Now this one is very very soft. This is 20 C's. It can fit a lot of credit card. The middle you can fit a dollar bill, and this one is very very soft. It's different from the previous one that I purchased. It's very stiff, but this one is very soft. I like the this one that's why I purchased this one so you can also think about this piece this piece it's I think also very very classic piece so that's all about today's video I hope you guys enjoy and I hope this video also help you to start your Chanel collection so I will see you very soon have a wonderful day bye bye